גם הייתה כבר של תסעות, ארטום לוסי אביץ, Unasafisha mahali, panakuwa pasafi, kutokana na kusafisha tena, unatengeneza pesa. So, um, wale wote ambao umefika na watakia usiliza jimwema na mjisikia umefika mahali hapa. Na wale ambao wanaenda kutupatia mafundisho, tunajua kwamba wanaenda kutupatia the best. Hii kuweze kufaidika pia. So, nawakaribisha nyote. Karibu. Uh, wacha nichukue hii nafasi niweze kwa sababu ya wakati niweze kuwakaribisha our facilitators ili waanze na kazi. Si so, itakuwa vizuri. Ni tumekuja kusoma wana mna gani? Eh? Wacha nikukaribishe boss, wewe ndio utafundisha? Ndio. Wacha nikukaribishe anayesimamia kepo ili aanze kufundisha. Na sisi tuwe wanafunzi wemu. Sao, karibu. Mbali kwa siku ya wemu. Jetu kwa 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 
Anisania the county government. So Tafadel. I'm putting work here. Here you are the final breakfast. But the final breakfast from the Jali. To to me at three lane and the lobby be back here. Breakfast to tell you well. Sindel. After like thirty minutes, sit up sit up we are not present the show yang. But the idea is global perspective and I also want to believe that maybe just a quick survey. Mangapi and Amini Kamba schools have actually have a role to play in waste management. <coughs> so clearly Sekila Mtala believes schools have a role to play in waste management. That's an individual view. Why do you believe schools don't have a role to play in waste management? I did not see that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, there's also somebody behind you who said, who never raised their hand. Why, 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 why don't you believe schools have a, a role to play? They play a very big role. So are we all in concurrence that schools play a big role in waste management? To go for more, yes. <laughs> so, from a global perspective, and based on the reality that schools and educational institutions have a critical role to play in waste management, do we think we are we are taking up the role to now? Are we, have we taken a lead role as schools and educational institutions in waste management? Somebody says no, someone says to some extent. Please tell us how you believe to some extent you've done something at school. Uh, good morning once again. Uh, in an institution. Yes. That's why we become uh, a large population. Yes. And uh, you are used by in my case, mm -hmm. as a case study. Mm -hmm. We have when we normally do the presentation of the students, mm -hmm. we get them on how to mm -hmm. so in mm -hmm. the West. Mm -hmm. Like from where you do workshops, yes. Yes, how they do it. Okay. So from the time we can read <coughs> any West mm -hmm. and the time we expose, mm -hmm. most of them are away. Okay. So to some extent, yes. we do it. Okay. Someone else said no. They said no. Why do you think schools have, have, have not done much with respect to waste management? But it was not you who said no. Really, no. To not shift goalposts. Goalposts. Yes, yes. Okay. So there are some schools. Yes. Who manage waste management because. They are, get the, the, the pits where they, mm -hmm. they put the waste. Mm -hmm. And maybe they, after every month or every week, mm -hmm. they come and they guys on the project. Mm -hmm. While the others mm -hmm. who just maybe dig uh, a big hole, mm -hmm. then they dispose the rubbish. Okay. While the others who don't educate on anyone, they just mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay. So mostly the private schools and the high-cost schools mm -hmm. uh, try to manage the rubbish. Okay. And what me I don't know is that whether whether you go in a bigger hole and down the hill, is it safe or mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. I'm sure Bernard will also be speaking to me, uh, that question later on. Yeah. <coughs> the safety of Placing Takataka uh, uh, kids, you know, yeah. 
But now, are we all in concurrence that waste is actually a problem beyond the educational confines from a societal point of view? Are we in concurrence that we actually need to have a conversation on waste? Yes. Now, uh, we need to understand also that our case is not unique, whether in the Kenyan context, whether in our schools, whether in our society. From a global perspective, populations from across the globe are dealing with plastic waste. And not necessarily plastic waste, but all other forms of plastic waste. But we need to understand the mandate of people. So let me, in, in fact, I sort of preempted my presentation without giving context as to who people is. But I, I'll also speak to that within the presentation. But the reality is, it's a, it's a problem. Senior? Are we putting in place measures that um, are, are, are adequate to address the problem? Do you think we are putting in place measures that are adequate to address the problem? I think we will respond at the end of the session. But as I said, globally, we have the issue of waste management. In terms of the share of waste that is adequately managed, the blue, uh, uh, in terms of the disparity, you see the African context and the East, uh, Asian context, uh, continents are the ones that are, have poor waste management practices. While the global north and, 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 and the well developed nations have put in place adequate measures to, to manage the waste. But how are, the, how are they doing this? You see, in the global north, there is actually adequate measures to, to sustainably manage their waste. So how are, they, how are they doing this? There's something called uh, balancing the economy vis-a-vis -vis environmental protection. We are aware that some of these products that result to waste in our environment are very critical. We can't do with them together. So two things. They satisfy our needs as human beings, and they also support our economy. Are we right? Because when you produce this bottle, you're creating jobs. When you produce this bottle, you're, you're also addressing a social need in terms of quenching thirst. See So, at what point do we, are, we, are we actually able to strike a balance between sustaining our economy while protecting our environment? See, now, scale on electronic or sustainable development goals. So we have to factor in and, and, and understand that we either manage our waste or our waste will manage us in the sense that we'll have issues of um, climate change and essentially having waste that is not able to manage within our environment. So what is the solution? Do we manage or do we ban some of these products that are causing harm to our environment? We manage, right? Or do we ban? Yeah, and, 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 and locally, we've had the tendency of banning some of these products. Now, in 2016, we banned the use of single-use plastic. Have we had any solution to that effect? In fact, and, and curiously, Bernard will tell you that what we introduced as the alternative is more difficult to recycle. The non-open bags that we use are actually more difficult to recycle than the single-use plastic. Now, that is from a global perspective. In the Kenyan context, and using Nairobi, which is a uh, primary benchmark for some of these studies um, regionally, Nairobi generates up to 3,000 tons, metric tons of waste per day. That is around 0 0.5 kg per capita per person per day. Now, 70% of that waste is collected. We did our own analysis and a bit of a survey locally, and we realized that that statistic might be much more lower. Of course, understandably, because of capacity, because of the terrain of the sea county, it's uniquely placed uh, as an agricultural stroke urban area, which is a very different dynamic from what uh, Nairobi is experiencing. So you can imagine, <coughs> if only 70% of waste is collected, where does the other 30% go to? So in Kisi, we speculate that this 
could possibly go higher to 50% of what is left out as uncollected waste. Where do we uh, uh, have the uncollected waste going to? Would we have an idea of where the collected waste in PC goes to? Yes. I think uh, given the terrain, <coughs> it could possibly be heading to the streams. Oh. Maybe swept by some water. <coughs> okay. So yes, we leave it going unmanaged into our environment. So what would be the intended? What would be the ultimate um, consequences? A poorly managed environment, and that is what we are witnessing <coughs> in the recent years, where we are having instances of climate change. I'm sure people in schools and people in the health department are aware of the consequential threats of climate change and what uh, unsustainable practices as fast waste management is, is, is concerned. So up to 50% is going to dam site. That would go higher in PC County if we had to speak about the collection rates uh, uh, in, the, in the region. Now only 20% goes to the recycling company. I don't think, and, I, and, and I'm sure we don't be agree, in, in agreement that this is, that is not a sustainable way to live. Now, if you go much into details to understand the Kenyan perspective as far as the waste fractions are concerned, you are looking at organic waste taking a larger fraction at 66%. Now, we may not necessarily have a challenge with organic waste. But the same speaks to the reality of how that is managed. Because yes, it's easily biodegradable, but the reality is if it is not properly disposed, the degradation process will probably be much more slower, and it remains to be a menace within our environment. Now, the other waste fractions are easily recyclable and inorganic. Maybe just to take us back, I hope I'm speaking to a group that is aware of the difference between, between organic and inorganic waste. Are we aware of what organic waste is and inorganic waste is? Yes. He has started by saying he's aware. And tell us what organic waste is. I say this is going to be a very interactive session. <coughs>
if you are not able, if you are not to manage our waste. So maybe just to give it to give us context as to where we are as a country, we are in a linear economy. Anyone who is aware of what a linear economy is, anyone who would try and give us a wild guess. You have an idea. Maybe I'm an intelligence Yes. Yeah. Uh, real economy, mm -hmm. the way I say it, I use an intelligence is the one which is targeted. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's a nice attempt. But now the reality is we are trying to look at achieving a circular economy. <coughs> but the country is in what we call a linear economy. And our larger population is stuck on the reality where I go and purchase this bottle of water. I take the water. Once my bottle is empty, I throw it away. So we are only picking from, we are, we are, we are picking from the finite resources, utilizing it, and then throwing it away. Is that coming out clearly? I'm not gonna So that is the linear economy, where we are just using, using, and using. Drawing from the finite resources, from our natural resources, using, and using, and using, without really caring about where we are going as a country, where we are going as a, as, as, as a continent, as a, as a world, as far as the depletion of finite resources are concerned. And so what is the target as far as global benchmarks are concerned, and, and, and even from a country perspective? We are moving to a circular economy, as has been mentioned here. But before you get to a circular economy, you have to embrace what we are calling the recycling economy. So we have a Kenya Association of Waste Recyclers here. We will be speaking more about what the recycling economy is. But now the recycling economy, to put, in, to put it from a layman's perspective on, and, and a very demonstrative perspective, you buy this water, you drink the water, but instead of throwing away the bottle, you reintroduce it into the production chain. How do you reintroduce it? Recycling. So you can either recycle or reuse. And that is what we are calling the recycling <coughs> economy. Now this circular economy is where literally from the, from, from, from the conversation itself and from the term itself, you are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are producing, consuming, and reproducing in what would mimic a circular motion. So I bought the bottle. I've drunk the water, instead of throwing away the bottle as water would have done within a linear economy, I've, in, I've introduced it into the production chain to recycling. But now, at the recycling uh, economy stage, after the initial recycling, you throw it away, right? <coughs> now, when you go to the circular economy, at no point will this bottle ever get into the environment. So we reintroduced it in the recycling economy. Uh, we reintroduced it in the production chain during the recycling economy. But ordinarily under the recycling economy, once it's recycled, it's right out. But the circular economy means you're recycling into packaging. No waste will go into the environment. Are we together? Yeah. yeah. So this is where we are looking at going, and we believe all actors must participate because it's really a collaborative economy that we must ensure that as we take from the from the ground, we are not returning the same to the ground in, a, in, a, in an unsustainable manner. Now let me help you understand how dire the linear economy is to our environment. Maybe just a quick one. Who would give me a wild guess as to how long this bottle will remain in the environment? 
This is not a test. No, I won't allow you to answer. <laughs> I also won't allow you to ask yes. What for a Okay. Any other guess? You no, know, he knew was here, right? I'm a part of my Kenya. Any other guess? So he's actually right. As scary as it may sound, this will remain in the environment for between 400 to 500 years. Is it believable? Huh? So, do we believe that what was produced in 1950 is still in the environment at some point? That is true. So this should help you point a bit as to why we actually need to manage our waste. So water bottles it will stay up to 500 years. The toothbrush we are supposed to change after every three months will remain for 400 years in the environment. The coffee cup, one of the cigar, 10 to 12 years. Nappies, and the county government will tell you it is the biggest headache to manage, 250 to 500 years. So there are some that actually don't agree. 